Hockey Tutorial is a learning resource for anyone that's involved in ice skating or ice hockey. Um, what it is is that we have a collection of tutorials, videos, for people that are looking for information, are looking for product knowledge, and we have everything from things like how to slap shot, how to wrist shot, to how to go backwards or skate, and we also have a ton of product reviews to just give people information that they might be looking for. It's quite a funny story about how it started. Um, being in England and living in London at the time, um, I wanted to learn how to skate because one of my friends played hockey and always took us skating and he just used to dust us. He'd skate around the ice rink, nobody could touch him and it was annoying. So I wanted to learn how to be able to skate just to be able to keep up with him. And um, I quickly found out how difficult it is because if you're not playing hockey and you've not had tuition or, or learning or um, a guide to show you how to pick up the basics of the sport, it's really, really difficult. And you quickly find that the good people at the ice rinks that um, know how to skate, don't have the time of day to speak to a beginner and explain how to do things. So what I did was watch the people that knew what they were doing on the ice. I literally just studied the way they moved and then copied it myself. Um, and from that I was able to learn how to stop, how to turn, just the very, very basics. And as soon as I did that, um, I thought to myself that people, and there's a lot of people in my position that are wanting to learn and can't because they don't have anyone to show them and nobody wants to help them. So I thought, let me put a video online, very, very basic video, um, showing people how to stop and that was the first ever video that we filmed called How to Hockey Stop Part 1. And that video managed to reach something like 300,000 people online within the first few months of it being online. And uh, everyone that was watching the video was asking us to put more videos on the internet to help them. Um, and that's how this whole thing started. From there we've just been posting video requests that people have been making um, and just trying to help them develop because I know exactly how hard it is when nobody wants to show you how to do something and you really want to learn. Being, again, from the UK, I was actually born in Kenya, Nairobi. So I'm a Kenyan Englishman that plays hockey. And I started to learn hockey in my early 20s, which is, um, I'm sure by Canadian and American standards, being in Canada right now, pretty late to be learning hockey at that age. So the idea is that if I can learn and I can have fun with this thing at this age, so can anyone. So as we've grown and we've um, been able to reach much more people, the way that we inspire people has started to take a shift because we've done all of the beginner videos or the um, introductory videos showing people the basics of skating and also hockey. And um, it's a little bit harder to inspire, um, you could almost say the older generation of people, people that are in their 30s, people that are in their 40s learning or that want to learn how to play hockey. And we found on one of the trips that we took, which was to Finland, um, that there's a, a massive collection of hockey players that have their own traditions, their own styles of hockey, and they're learning at crazy ages. We were on the ice with somebody that was 50, 60 years old, and I've also seen people at different ice rinks that are in their late 40s, late 50s, that are learning how to play hockey for the first time. So with these trips that we've started taking, it's another way of us inspiring people to, to want to take up the sport. It doesn't matter how old you are or where you live, if you, have an, if you have a passion for this sport, then you should pursue it. And we're hoping to show people exactly how to do that. The people involved with Hockey Tutorial, it started with just myself posting videos to YouTube in the beginning. And then I partnered up with uh, one of my friends called Dan Fry, who at the time was doing all of the technical stuff behind the website, keeping the website online, um, doing all that techie stuff that I'm, I'm not too clued up on. Um, and now we've moved on to, um, obviously we've, got, we've grown from where we were previously. We now have a camera operator, which is Chris Curtis, who um, edits and um, films all of the incredible videos that you've seen um, on our YouTube channel and on our website. You might have noticed that there was a big jump in the quality and sort of um, professionalism of the videos that we shoot. And that's down to that dude, Chris Curtis. He knows what he's doing and he's been a big asset to this whole thing. Uh, from there, we've also partnered up with Hockey Community, who are based in Vancouver, Canada, where we are right now. You can see the um, beautiful city behind me over there. And those guys um, have a mission. They, they have a social networking app for hockey players that allows hockey players to connect anywhere and everywhere. And um, what their mission is to make hockey more accessible, our mission is to inspire and grow the sport of hockey so we fit together perfectly. As this has been going on, we've had a lot of people helping us. And one thing that I always try to make apparent is, although I'm the guy that appears in all of these videos, it's not just me. There's a lot of people that put a lot of time, especially time and effort into making everything that we do possible. I'm um, going back to the beginning, that's the people at Romford Ice Rink that allowed me to film the videos there, which that ice rink isn't even there anymore. Um, there's also Chelmsford Ice Rink, the whole team at um, Riverside Ice and Leisure have helped us countless times to give us ice time and the availability to do the videos that we have now. And currently I'm working with Peterborough Ice Rink, um, who are a massive asset to us because they, they give us all of the ice time and um, assistance that we need to be able to make all of these videos possible for you. And uh, a massive shout out goes to people like um, Ian Shrooms, who's at uh, Peterborough Ice Rink, who helps us and gives us the time that we need to be able to make these videos possible. What's next for Hockey Tutorial is a tricky one. Um, of course, we're gonna keep doing the things that we're doing now. We're gonna keep 
uh, posting um, video tutorials, product reviews, because there's always new things that come out on the market that people need to know about. Um, but we're going to be focusing very heavily on these trips because there's nothing more inspiring than coming to places like this. It, it humbles you and it also educates you because you think the way you do things at your ice rink at, in your city, in your country is the way it is everywhere and you quickly discover that it isn't. One of the massive shocks that we found here was the level of hockey that's played over here and it just inspires you to want to go to the next location to find out what you've learned because we've learned more in 10 days in Canada than we have at six months in the UK playing. So. With that level of development in such a short time, all we want to do is travel, show how hockey's played in different locations, grow the sport of hockey and show anybody that if you have a passion for this sport, we want to give you the information and the tools to help you play it. And you can, and you can do it from anywhere and everywhere.